か。Richside Canine guys, we're here with this young pup. We're gonna go over some puppy games, puppy conditioning, how we work with these young dogs with an e-collar. Yes. And it's it's really important. So, yes, we're on an e-collar. Everybody's gonna panic. This is a Sport Pro on level one. But more importantly about it, watch right here. Yeah, that's so fun. So we can use vibration and tone to mark behavior of place work without building any kind of conflict or fear and with associating the e-collar with awesome stuff day one minute one early on in life yes all right so marker training with three markers we're going to work on vibration meaning go away tone meaning come back and a verbal mark is going to be yes because i'm not carrying a clicker okay so this dog was conditioned on a clicker i then trans transferred a clicker to the word yes like that you see a response right there um you saw the dog doing right the dog was trying to activate me she sat she laid down Yes. She's trying to do behavior Yes. to turn the game on. So it's pretty cool. All right, let's get this going. I'm going to tone again means come to me. Vibration means push away from me. And I'm going to mark specific behavior on the place with the word yes. It'll all look sloppy, but this will pay dividends in the long run. So here we go. Tone. Yes. You ready? Vibration. When she goes on, vibration turns off. Vibration goes on. Yes! Mark it, call her back on the tone. Vibration goes on. Almost did it. Yes! If you drop the food, you gotta let them pick it up. It's a pain in the ass if you don't if you stop them. As soon as the dog's done, I'm gonna go vibration. She'll figure it out. Vibration's still on. So she's feeling a vibration on her on her neck. She's got to figure it out. Yes! Now, obviously, she's following my hand. There's luring going on. However, we're still allowing the dog to think. So vibration comes on. It's just vibration. Going to help the pup. Yes! So if you put the time in and do 500 or 1,000 repetitions, you can hold vibration and boom, the dog will go. Yes! So she offered that place. I got to mark it. The second you hit tone, the dog will turn on a dime and fly back to you. So it's really cool. Yes. So this is dog. This is a good opportunity. Hope it's being caught in the camera. The dog is solving the problem. This is free shaping right now, right? The dog has learned that even without vibration, going to the place pad delivers food. Um, hopefully that's being caught in the camera angle right there. I'm not sure. So she's cheated. I ignored. Probably go back on her own here in a minute. And now we're going to play the game. Vibration comes on. Dog's feeling sensation of vibration. Can't cheat. Yes! So let's talk about what's happening. The dog going on to the place turns off the vibration. Yes! I then mark it as the vibration turns off. The mark itself kind of is a recall for a young dog. They're coming back to get food. Yes! But I'm pairing every recall with a tone. Okay? So all that dog knows through condition response is every time I run back. Yes! I'm getting food and I'm hearing that tone. So the tone is also paired to food, right? Magic trick, right? So I'm going to continue to move a little bit. Yes! And the dog should continue to work. If all goes well. Vibration's on. Try to cheat me. It's okay. Vibration's still on. Yes! Vibration stops. Verbal mark comes in. Tone turns on. Dog recalls to get their paycheck. I know it seems like a lot. Vibration, verbal markers, tone. Yes! But again, we can condition a response very, very quickly and have absolute control over very great distance, up to a mile away on the e-collar, right? Yes. And now we're going to work on that tone. One more piece here. Okay. Yep. Dog's good. I'm going to walk away from the dog, ignore her. She's going to come to me for sure, and at some point she'll go off. I'm going to hold tone, and the dog should fly right back to me. Right there. Tone. Yes. So when tone comes on, it stays on until the dog's within proximity of me. Tone recalls. Right here. Tone. Yes. Now I'm going to do it without talking, okay? But I'll kind of hold the collar so you see what I'm doing. Yes. 
We want power, speed, enthusiasm, and a good time. We want the dog jumping around, tail wagging, okay? Dog hasn't even felt stem yet in any capacity. But we're using the e-collar, the hated tool by everybody, to teach behavior, okay? Very, very important stuff. We're going to ignore the dog for a minute. Dog will wander off. All puppies do. And yes! Think about everything that's happening right now, what we're conditioning, right? The dog is off leash, came here on a leash, pulling, choking itself half to death with its sibling, out of control. Now we're just going to walk, and we're going to lure the dog into a heel without teaching the heel, right? Yes. Little marker, feet on the way, keep the dog engaged. Tap tone. Yes. The dog smelled food on the ground, okay? So puppies will do that. Tap tone. Yes. Keep on walking. Hands empty now. Showing a new picture. And I'm going to mark it. Yes. And I'm going to give the dog a big paycheck. Good girls. Oh, la, bra. Oh, pa, ya, super. Puppy training, guys. Is there absolute obedience in puppy training? No. Don't get it twisted. Anybody that tells you they're going to put absolute obedience on a puppy, be very aware of that. It's a lot of red flags going off. But we can teach a lot through fun, motivation, enthusiasm, while conditioning the e-collar to all this positivity, right? Picture that. Dog then becomes six months, and instead of pulling, lunging, doing all this stuff, the dog's waiting to get paid. But now, all of a sudden, the e-collar, instead of being feared and revered and, oh, no, I'm going to get shocked, the dog looks forward to the e-collar. And again, we don't use shock collar, guys. Let's talk about this for just a split second. The big difference between a shock collar, basically a cattle prod on a remote, and a professional e-collar delivering controlled stem, apples and oranges. If you've been to any chiropractor or physical therapist, you have felt controlled stem on your body. If you're a runner, you probably have a portable stem machine. It's the exact same technology, guys, using the exact same way. And if you train with Rich Side K9, we will put the e-collar on you. You will feel it through all the settings so you know what's happening. Garmin Tritronics is what we normally use. So, again, I'm going to put the dog back this direction. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to step off, tap tone, and walk and watch the behavior of the dog. So before I step off here, simultaneously, okay, that was on tone response, right? And the dog all of a sudden is following me. Why? Because I'm fun, I'm food, I'm all this stuff. Dog gets loose, phone response, dog comes right back to me, right? Phone response comes on, she's trying to activate the game, tone on. Yes! We do one more send away. Vibrations activated now, vibrations on. Yes! Yo, super mama. This one she finishes inside the pocket, okay? Rich side canine, let us know how we can help you.